Yeah. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, iPod King Carter here. Today, I bring you guys some home game versus the Houston Rockets. Now, check this out. In this gameplay, I'm going to show you guys a few little tricks and tips, but as well as show you guys that the pick and roll cheese is back in a different way. Um, remember when 2K said that, hey, guys, no more pick and roll cheese. Nobody can abuse the pick and roll. No player's going to get stuck inside the pick and roll. Everything's going to be just dandy. Well, check it out. I got some clips at the end of this gameplay that's going to blow your mind. I know a couple people probably already found out about these clips, but you're probably going to want to check them out. I'm not going to give you guys a timestamp because I know you're just going to skip to that part of the video in case you don't know about the pick and roll cheese. But uh, just to show you guys some back and forth plays, man, check out Chan yo, listen, Chandler Parsons, yo. Now, everybody remembers when I started out as a Maverick, right? And uh, Al Farouk Aminu was the starting small forward. And I was just, like, going out of my mind because he can't hit a mid-range jump shot. He's known for dunking, but he can't poster anybody. And, you know, shooting the long ball sometimes just isn't the best thing with him. But now that we're in the later part of the season, and, you know, I called Al Farouk Aminu out on Twitter. I told him, you know, I, I don't like your recent games. You haven't been putting any points on the board. Your ass, like, I, I literally outed him out on Twitter after, like, four or five different games. Now, his first response was, hey, man, everybody has their bad game. This is real life, man. That's wrong. His second game was, man, I'm going to try to step it up, man. I'm, I'm going to see what I can do. I think his third response was, hey, man, are you just picking on me or something, <laughs> something like that? And next thing you know, he didn't even respond on the fourth time. So I come to find out that Chandler Parsons ended up becoming a starter. Now, I don't know if my social media presence is the reason why Alpha Rico Minu wasn't a starter anymore or was it just you know stats did, did is numbers not lying or was it me pushing for the fact that hey I'm becoming a better player on the Mavericks and uh, did I have enough pull to get Aminu benched I truly do not know but all I know is now that Parsons is our starting small forward, we are Gucci. You know, it's me starting, it's Monta Ellis, it's uh, Tyson Chandler, Dirk Nowinski, and Chandler Parsons. Now, the reason why I think that this starting five is so beast is because all of us can be, you know, star players on any team. You know, Tyson Chandler, A, of course, you know, he's a defensive beast, but, you know, he can't drop 20 and 10. But, you know, like I was saying, I think that, you know, with this starting five, we can win games on Hall of Fame. You know, I can put up numbers because I've played on many different teams on Hall of Fame and have always had different outcomes. You know, some outcomes I would have to score 60, 80. Some outcomes I wouldn't even have to score at all. But I think with this team right here, we have a good balance. You know, I can go to Dirk anytime I want. I can run a pick and roll with Tyson Chandler, you know, to get some, some cheesy points. I can uh, give it to Chandler Parsons or Monte Ellis on a break, and they're going to show out. You know, check out Monte here. Even though he missed, he gets the rebound and gets fouled. A lot of players that I've seen play on different teams, some of their players don't even attempt to go over the rebound. You know, and Monte Ellis, for that to be a fast break moment, and him get bumped and still get his offensive rebound, I think that was a good look. Now, check it out. We're down two going into the fourth quarter, and Houston has the ball. So, of course, they're going to take the last shot. Nothing we can possibly do about that, but I'm just hoping that they don't score. Now, Dwight Howard is his own cheesy player in, in his own right, man. Like, every time they give it to Dwight, he was doing numbers in the first half, but, you know, come the second half, we're going to change things up on him. Best believe that. But check out the nice little pick and roll play. Now, I passed it out to Nelson because I thought he was going to take the shot, but he didn't want to take it. So, you know, I just called for it back, making it do what it do. I got 28 points, have a good field goal percentage. Now, three-pointers, I'm not really that guy to take too many three-pointers anymore, especially after that Spurs game. That Spurs game just turned me off totally. Now, you guys see that I'm trying to play the uh, inbound. I mean, not inbound, but the post-pass play. But I still get the cookies anyway. We out on a break. I see that Chandler Parsons didn't want to cut, so I'm going to call a nice little pick-and-roll play. My man Dirk is open, so I'm telling y'all, the pick-and-roll is back. But I'm telling y'all, I still got these plays for y'all, yo. These plays y'all going to see is going to blow y'all mind. I'm telling y'all. But we play good defense here. We get the rebound. We're out on the break. You see me calling for the ball or something fierce. Now, let's start the game off right, man. Look at the double team happening. Chandler Parsons. Now, this wouldn't have happened with Aminu. Look at this. Cash, money, no problem. Easy. 
And guess what? Houston needs a timeout. So they're about to call the timeout real quick. Check out the first half comparison, man. They're not doing too good in the second half. I'm just saying. We stepped it up. You know, we putting points on the board now. And we got them scared. Yo, also, I wish that players would actually grab some Gatorade, you know, during timeouts. That would make it more realistic as well. But check it out, man. This is where the party starts. Now, in order for this pick and roll cheese to work, you kind of have to move out of the way of the pick. So move, if the pick is coming from the left, move a little bit over to the right and then just spam on speed and run to the left. Now we're about to try it again, you know, grab the ball, slow it down because we got about two minutes left. I don't want to, you know, try to score it too easily, too fast. So I'm going to call up the pick and roll cheese with another player just so you know that it's not Tyson Chandler with his, uh, I think he has a brick wall as well. But did you guys see that? That's so easy. You can literally do this almost every play. Now, of course, when you start scoring more and, you know, and the, and the defense keys in on you and, and double teams you, you can also call passes out of the pick and roll. Now, it just depends on which player comes out of the pick and roll. Now, check it. I'm calling quick isolation again, taking a little bit of time off the clock. Now, with that one, I got Tyson Chandler to fade, but I didn't want that because the White Howard was still inside the play. Now, check it out. Four seconds left, literally, and I still call the same play, and I'm able to get a dunk off. Like, that's how easy these pick and rolls go now, man. And what makes it so crazy is I know 2K ain't going to patch it. I hope they don't patch it because it's my way of scoring. Now, like I said, the White Howard is a monster in the paint, but we got something for that. Now, I told you guys that, you know, when the defense keys in on you, you're able to call, you know, another pick and roll, and you can pass out of the pick and roll depending on what player comes up. Now, check it out. I move over a little bit. Spam on speed. Now check it out. Both defenders came over because Patrick Beverly didn't get caught in the pick because he knew what was about to happen. But I still was able to get the pass off to Tyson Chandler for a nice dunk. Now, of course, this game is over. But they're calling MVP for me. So I'm pretty hype about that. You know, I'm getting them MVP praises, even though I didn't get the MVP award in the regular season because I wasn't even really a drafted rookie. So... It's all good, but they needed a timeout with 2.8, and they sent me on the bench, man. They showed me a little bit of respect here. Let me know, hey, man, you did a great job tonight. Going ahead and take some time off. <laughs> but I do have a, a nice little cutscene that I wanna, want you guys to check out. I'm going to be giving back to the community, man. I'm about to go talk to Coach real quick. But before I talk to Coach, let me go talk to uh, this uh, interview lady. I forgot her name. Doris Burt? Something like that? Well, certainly a nice win here in this one for you. What's it going to take for you guys to keep playing at this level moving forward? Uh, just keeping it simple and not forcing things. When we make the easy pass and not try to do too much with the balls in our hand, that's when we're at our best, and we can win games like this one. Mission accomplished tonight. Congratulations. Kev, over to you.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's hop into one of the biggest moments in my my career at first season, giving back to my community. Hey, hey coach, how you doing, man? Uh, good, good. Oh, come on, man. I know you since I was 12 years old. I know something wrong. So what's up? Uh, forget it. You know, you're a professional athlete in the middle of the season. You got, you got enough to worry about. Man, bump all that, man. You family, coach. What's going on? All right. Engineers from the county said the gym at the school has structural damage that, quote, poses a significant threat to the public. Until such a time repairs can be made, the structure must be shut down, unquote. Hold on. They won't close the gym? Our gym? Unless we get a sudden infusion of cash. Look, it hurts to ask, but um, if you could contribute financially, you know, the coaches, the faculty, the kids, we really appreciate it. We wouldn't have to go across town and play at that rec center. Heck, we could, you know, name the gym after you. <laughs> what, do you what do you think? Man, this was an easy question, easy answer. Of course I'm going to give up that 1,000 VC. Coach, there was a time when I didn't have anything, and you brought me into your home, your heart, and your team. I'm more than happy to help out any way I can, and that includes financially. I'm so proud of you. The man you've become. Thank you. Hey, Coach, no problem. I got you. Forever. See you later. Call you later. Now that right there was a great moment, you know, giving back. But I also want to show you guys one last thing before I get up out of here. But uh, I just wanted to thank everybody for checking out the videos. I got more to come. I got the playoffs. I got I got so many videos, yo. So much gameplay recorded. But I am also a busy person. But check out the pickpocket. Yeah, man, the steals is coming, man. The cookies are being grabbed. But this is IKC signing out. Hope you guys like the video. Hope you check it out, comment, all that bull crap. And uh, tell a friend to tell a friend about this pick and roll cheese being back, man. I'm going to holler at y'all. Peace.